Uh, only this year we will have almost 30, 30 activities with our two armies. Uh, uh, you will see uh, at the tonight's uh, reception uh, how many uh, Turkish uh, uniforms, uh, high-ranking uh, officers will be there. There is uh, mutual respect and this is on the level of soldiers. On the level of the politicians, everything is always more complicated. Somehow politicians and diplomats uh, always uh, complicate things, they don't solve. I mean, this is the, this is the prejudice. But we are moving on. Uh, we have the security agreement, we are cooperating, we, uh, Serbia uh, participates uh, in six uh, peacekeeping missions all over the world, mostly with NATO countries, uh, and that relationship is developing. Because of the sensitivities, it is not as some people would like to see. Some people would uh, like Serbia not to have any uh, relationship with NATO at all. But uh, we have somehow managed to have a fine balance. Well, Ambassador, as you were saying, uh, actually it's uh, very impressive the amount of work that's been done since 1999 because you, you said that uh, most of our viewers probably know this. They will remember what happened, but they probably don't know the amount of work that's been done since 1999. The fact that you're supporting Bosnia-Herzegovina's uh, membership to the NATO is also an important step. Uh, what I read is though, because I, I guess because of what was uh, lived through back in, uh, back then, on, uh, almost now 11 years ago, uh, is uh, if Serbia had decided on a political level to uh, now become a member of NATO, the public support would be only around 50% in the country, which is I guess understandable. Um, but, uh, so, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, w when I was in uh, Belgrade, I saw some buildings that were not uh, refurbished. Uh, is, is there a reason for it? Uh, there is no uh, conspiracy theory behind it. It's not a conspiracy theory. No, 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 no. I'm just, I was curious. <laughs> and, uh, there are actually two buildings uh, that you uh, saw in the center of Belgrade. This is the Ministry of Defense. Uh, it is actually the building where I have sat as the Deputy Minister for four years. <laughs> and it was not uh, easy to have a uh, view. Uh, it is a very specific architectural and procedure, uh, procedural uh, business, but uh, definitely there are scars uh, still, uh, not only in the buildings, but in the, in, the, in the psychology, in the atmosphere, in the remembrance, uh, and it is something uh, very, 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 very uh, delicate uh, as well. Uh, the support for NATO was highest uh, straight after uh, the bombing in 1999. In 2001, when the, we toppled Milosevic's regime, uh, NATO was around 70%. It was, uh, I think, even more popular than the membership in the Euro European Union. In 2007, it was 46%. I think the, the, the whole Kosovo issue uh, uh, was also something that damaged uh, NATO's image uh, in Serbia. Uh, because of the bombing, NATO bombed it, it you know, the Serbian public uh, perceives that NATO found an excuse to make Kosovo independent, that's why it, uh, without justification, bombed Serbia, and it goes on and goes on. But uh, what is important that we have a relationship with NATO, uh, Serbia opened up uh, its mission to NATO in Brussels. Uh, since uh, for more than a year now, we have our ambassador to NATO. Uh, last September, we have opened the military part of the our mission. We have a Serbian general and a couple of officers and non-commissioned officers sitting in, in, in the headquarters of the alliance. And we are developing a relationship. In uh, May this year, in June, uh, we will have the big conference, a NATO conference in, uh, and PFP conference in Belgrade. We will have our uh, 69 uh, chiefs of general staff of NATO countries in Belgrade okay. at this conference. So we are moving on. We have a sound relationship. We are a member of the PFP. We cooperate. We have bilateral cooperation with every single NATO member state, uh, as especially good one with, with Turkey. I have to say that. Uh, I, I worked in it, uh, on it in my previous job, 
And this is why I'm actually asking yeah. you all of these questions because I would like our viewers to hear the Serbian point of view from somebody who's an expert on this. Serbian point of view is that uh, the most important is that we bring uh, stability back to the region. Uh, NATO through uh, K4, and I know that Turkey has uh, some forces in, in K4, uh, from the Serbian point of view has played ever since a very constructive uh, role. Uh, it is a paradox. Uh, again, this is the perceptions in the Balkans. People uh, in Serbia on, overall don't trust NATO, but people overall in Serbia trust NATO's force, K4, in, in Kosovo. Uh, Serbia and uh, army and K4 have extremely good relationship. There is uh, trust between each other. There is good cooperation. O over a thousand joint uh, same time uh, patrols and this is something where we can build on build on the relationship the point is uh, military is there to provide the security and stability to be a force for good not force for bad and we have managed to uh, do that in Balkans uh, the bilateral defense cooperation in Balkans exists we are uh, working together and this is when the people see uh, uniforms working together this is also a good sign for politicians for ordinary people for businessmen for everybody definitely i guess you know uh, even this conversation this interview proves the importance of dialogue because if we can actually listen to each other's point of views then we can understand why we're saying certain things and thinking certain things then we can start working on how to find a possible reconciliation in between and uh, so you are even accepting this interview just a few days after uh, your uh, new post shows how much uh, Serbia is willing to, for, to be involved in dialogue. So thank you once again for this wonderful opportunity. Well, um, in, uh, when we're talking about stability in the region, one of the other things, uh, apart from, of course, bilateral trade agreements and all that, is energy and cooperation in terms of energy. And uh, it's one of the biggest needs of the Balkans. Uh, what is being done in Serbia in terms of uh, working on uh, energy and uh, in terms of its legal uh, proceedings and cooperation between all the other Balkan states? We, we, uh, and absolutely, I uh, agree with you that energy and cooperation in this sector is uh, very, very important. We are moving on uh, in, in, in this area uh, and there's lots of factors uh, there that we need to take into consideration. Uh, I think, you know, the example of, of your country, of Turkey, uh, will be very telling and there is uh, a big scope where we can learn uh, from Turkey. Uh, we, so far, uh, we have this South Stream uh, uh, deal uh, that will basically come from uh, Bulgaria, uh, pass through Serbia and go to uh, Hungary. Uh, I don't know uh, how uh, plan for other uh, networks are going to be applied in our region. Uh, but in that sector, uh, the cooperation is something that was uh, managed to overcome the political uh, insecurities, political uh, lack of political dialogue. I know for, uh, for a while that Serbia has been providing electricity to Albania, even in the times of uh, non-existence of diplomatic relationship. A uh, couple of years ago when we had a big, um, uh, big crisis with the gas, uh, uh, I remember that our president and uh, people in Sarajevo were freezing in the very cold winter. Our president had decided to give a very, very big amount of our reserves uh, to Bosnians in order to keep uh, people in Sarajevo in, in, in their homes. That was something that people uh, in the first place did not believe the news. How is this possible? And then it had a very positive political uh, effect. Uh, and in that sense, you know, sometimes the energy uh, security is something which is probably the most important one. Well, I thought it was very interesting that Serbia is the leader in the Balkans uh, in the drive towards the use of wind power. And uh, could Serbia use its expertise to develop wind power and alternative energy uh, fuels, uh, energy supplies in the Balkans? Uh, yes, I think that, uh, the, 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 this is something, uh, you know, the, the Westerners would say uh, very sexy things now yes. uh, in, in the Balkans to introduce uh, wind power. Uh, 
uh, lots of experts uh, from all over Europe uh, and even from Japan uh, came to Serbia. There is a big potential in the north part of Serbia uh, to have this. Of, of course, you always don't have then in, in environmental, environmentalists and the ecologists who come up and say this is not good because uh, it will damage the bird population. But overall, uh, this is something that has been developed. Uh, the government is supporting this. Uh, and there is a lot of interest also from the private sector to, uh, to develop this kind of energy. And I think as more as we develop uh, and as more as we become aware of the global warming and as more as this kind of problems become something that preoccupies our publics, so far it has been history, uh, wars, uh, ethnicity, ethnic cleansing, religion, uh, we will be a more sound and more healthy society. That's true, that's true. Well, uh, my last question is actually about the reports that were in the Turkish media recently about the anti-government rallies in Belgrade against the pro-Western government with demands for early elections. Well, I guess they were mostly due to the economic crisis. And what is the government uh, now doing trying to appease these demonstrators and also to deal with the economic crisis? Because I know that now IMF is expecting Serbia to grow at a constant pace. Uh, but what's being done? Uh, well, I, uh, recently uh, we did have a very big uh, opposition uh, opposition rally uh, in the terms that we did not have rallies uh, for a very long time. Uh, and this is something, uh, it is always normal that the opposition criticizes the government uh, and is trying to use the uh, financial crisis uh, for its own, uh, for its own ways. Uh, we were lucky in the beginning that we were not uh, hit by crisis severely, but we definitely had, uh, especially in the public spending, lots of restrictions. Uh, salaries uh, in the public sector were frozen, and uh, people uh, tend to be very uh, dissatisfied with us, especially people in the health, doctors, nurses, uh, uh, also, I personally feel uh, for people in the education, because these are, the, you know, these are probably the two most important uh, sectors for the development of one society, you know, being healthy and being uh, very well educated. You know, we uh, are going uh, through a government reshuffle. Uh, I think by the end of this month we will have the reconstruction of the Serbian government. Uh, we will cut down, uh, and that is the idea of the member of the uh, of bureaucracy. Uh, and then, uh, simply, if government wants to save money, uh, you need to lead by example, and you need to show to the people that you are saving first. If you want them to save and to, you know, uh, tight, uh, tighten up the belts. Ambassador, thank you very much for your wonderful uh, comments because I'm sure it's going to give a wonderful, a great perspective to the Turkish viewers uh, about where Serbia stands and what the relationship between Turkey and Serbia is at the moment, which is at its highest ever. Hopefully it will continue to grow with your ambassadorship. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sırbistan Büyükelçisi ile yaptığımız bu keyifli röportajımızın sonuna geldik. Sayın Büyükelçi ile Türkiye ile Sırbistan ilişkilerini, Kosova sürecini, Bosna Herse'yi, NATO'yu, Avrupa Birliği'ni ve daha birçok önemli konuyu konuştuk. Haftaya Liderler ve Kararlar programında yeniden bir araya gelene kadar hoşçakalın. But Negro, I don't know mm. how I are, are you of Montenegro because I know uh, uh, I love uh, Montenegro is independent country. He has been an independent ever since. Then we had a union. Yes, and I then you recognized that. No, we recognized yeah. straight, straight, yeah, the, straight away. The, the day after. And there are still people here still call us, call the embassy, uh, and they send the invitations for the Montenegrin ambassador to really? the US. Yes, because people still think that Montenegro is part of Serbia and Montenegro. Still. Yes. But, uh,